For this week's science lesson, we're going to be showing you how you can make water defy gravity and actually move vertically. Think of how water gets from a tree's roots to the leaves on top or how blood gets from your heart all the way up to your brain. It's called capillary motion and today we're going to be demonstrating it with just a paper towel and a black marker, not a permanent marker, regular old black marker. So step one, really simple. All you're going to need to do is get your paper towel and draw a line with the black marker. There. And then just for fun, we're going to be doing the right side of our paper towel will actually be the permanent marker just to show you what will, what will end up happening with, with that. Step two is you're going to be hanging your paper towel right over top of a plate. All right, so let's get started with step three, which is going to be adding the water into the plate. Again, you want your paper towel basically just touching the bottom of the plate, the lines well above that and then watch the water continue to rise. Again, the permanent markers on this side and the regular marker is on the other side. And you'll see the difference between the two. This would also be a good time to even get your camera phone out too and create a time lapse to see what's happening with, with the um, paper towel. All right, so, so what's happening here? Um, again, the answer is capillary action. It's defined as the movement of water within spaces of a porous material. And that's due to the forces of adhesion, cohesion, and surface tension. Now, a paper towel is very porous. It has a lot of room for these water molecules to go up. Now, in adhesion, um, the water molecules are attracted and stick to other substances. The cohesion is where they like to be close together. Now, the adhesion of that water allows the water, vessel, the water to climb the walls of a vessel and kind of create an upward force of the liquid on the edges. Now you can see this in action every day and right here you can see it too, especially because the dyes within the regular marker have since dissipated. Again, this is all based on how these water properties move through, um, through different processes. And of course, you can do even more experiments playing with this too, even by just dipping celery in food colored water. And actually, we have a few other experiment ideas you can play along with this too on our website, wmbfnews.com. All you have to do is go to the weather section and then click on Science with Sean, a full list of the breakdown of these experiments. Playing with water and the different properties of water is right there for you. Reporting in the First Alert Weather Lab, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Sean Bailey.